Oh, man, I'm doing really good, you guys. I didn't start off the year that way. I'll let you guys know. Oh, my God, I started it off in the hospital. Let me let you know what happened. I was at the house, and I was eating a cookie. <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I got a pain in my side. It was one of those pains that not even a good fart can get rid of. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? Well, sure enough, I wound up in the emergency room, and it was the scariest feeling of my whole life because the first thing they did to me was they stripped me of all my clothes. And not in a sexy way either. They take all my clothes, and they replace them with this nasty green hospital gown. You know, the kind where they tie it in the back, and your buddy showing, right? <laughs> Little kids walking by. Damn. <laughs> So I see my reflection in the mirror and I realize at that moment with all that green on that I do not look like a comedian. <laughs> oh no, with all that green on, I look like <laughs> damn Shrek. <laughs> and it wasn't me who gave me the nickname either, it was the nurses, I could hear them too. Mira Marta, Marta, look at that chubby boy, he looks like Shrek, huh? <laughs> all he needs are the antennas and the donkey, that's it. <laughs> So then they wheel me into my own room, right? And I'm laying there in bed, I'm holding my side, and the doctor comes in. And I don't know what it is about doctors, they're just always happy to see you, right? Ah, Mr. Iglesias, how are you? <laughs> I can't fart. <laughs> Mr. Iglesias, don't worry, we'll take care of everything. Just roll over on your side, and I'll be right back. So I roll over, and he goes over to the wall, and he gets these little rubber gloves, and he puts them on. Don't get ahead of me, people. <laughs> He puts on these gloves and you hear, you know, right? And he walks over and he puts his hand right here. And he goes, does that hurt? Uh -uh. Does that hurt? Uh -uh. And then this doctor turned into a magician. Oh, yes, he did, because his hand disappeared. <laughs> and it reappeared somewhere way back here. And I'm not going to tell you guys what he did, but you know what he did. <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon. <laughs> And then he has the nerve to tell me, Mr. Iglesias, I found a problem. You seem to be suffering internally. You have a blockage in your system. And the whole time I'm thinking, well, pull out your finger. <laughs> You're the one blocking it, dude. <laughs> so he says, Mr. Iglesias, we're going to need to flush out your system. And the whole, okay, flush me out. Give me some crackers and some diet soda. Let's do it, right? <laughs> no, Mr. Iglesias, we have another procedure. It's painless. It's quick. Trust me. So I'm like, okay, I got to see this, right? So he picks up the call button and rings the nurse. Boom. And the nurse comes in. Oh, it's a Shrek. <laughs> and she walks in with this little bag with like a little hose hanging out of it, right? And I see this little hose and I'm thinking, ooh, bitch, you better be watering a plant. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you guys what she did with the hose, but you know what she did with the hose. <laughs> she made me a water balloon. <laughs> and when they say they're going to flush you out, they're not lying. The second they do this to you, guess when you got to go? <laughs> right there. <laughs> and they don't do it when it's all convenient, when you're over here in the facilities and you're sitting down and you're like, okay, let it rip, let's do it. That would be too convenient. No, they do it when you're laying down 18 feet away, right? <laughs> laying down and they do this to you. And anything you have in here goes from here back there, boom, like that, right? It just hits you like a shot. <laughs> I locked up, my legs stiffened up. I tried to run to the restroom, you guys. I look like an old Frankenstein movie and fast forward, man. <laughs> The whole time, the nurses are running behind me. Sister, 